Well, a community is coming together after a 15 year old was hit and killed while riding his bike to school. Tonight, Pasco County says it will be making safety improvements in the area. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young spoke to neighbors, classmates and parents who are all feeling this loss. Several people have visited this memorial for 15 year old Miles Farrago, who was killed on his way to school yesterday morning. You can see there's a cross here, several flowers, beads, angel wings and multiple people have signed it. He was just a kid. Yeah, he was just a kid trying to go to school. And he unfortunately didn't make it. It felt a lot more painful and real the more you started to hear what was going on. You learned different details throughout the day about what had happened to the kid, and all you could feel was guilt the entire time. Brittany Nichols says she was sitting on her bed when she heard a thud and ran outside. And I'm stuck on a fence, jumping the fence, dialing 911 to get to this kid and help save his life. I really pray for the family. Yeah. And I want them to know I did everything I could to save him. Florida Highway Patrol says Farrago was on a bike traveling the same direction as a Dodge Charger when the car hit him on Kitten Trail. Because cars are still flying up and down as we're performing CPR right on the side of the road. Literally one foot away from the road is where his body was. And we still have cars going 40, 50 miles an hour past us. Those in the community say this area is not safe. I wish I could have done more. I wish I could have saved the kid. Because awesome. no parent should ever have to bury their child. Other schools have these um, things that are basic. This school is over 50 years old and it does not. So it really makes no sense whatsoever. This should have never, ever happened. Pasco County officials say they have secured funding to build a sidewalk along the south side of Kitten Trail. They are implementing a school speed zone and including the area in the annual review of roads that need streetlights. As you can see, it's really dark out in this area, so several people have signed a petition that asks for this area to get streetlights and sidewalks. In Hudson, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.